I, I can't. You couldn't pay for it, really? I, I don't have the money. How do you not have the money for it? How much money do you think I have? I think you have quite a bit. I certainly didn't budget for this. Mr. Almost 90,000 subscribers on YouTube. You think that just means I have $90,000 in my I pocket? I think you've got some ca more cash like than a, I've got. Like a dollar per subscriber? Maybe. Anyway. Poor Captain Coolsville. I, what, what are we going to do? The puppet's still... Uh... <laughs> yeah, no, we get it. Yeah, no, we get it. You got away with it. That's great. Yeah. That was get my friend. Get, get, get off me. That was my friend. You two should be very careful. No, what? No! Ah. <laughs> He's rubbing on me. I hate that you got away with that. Welcome to an all new episode of Board. This is it. This is the season finale of season three of Board. This is it, gang. This is this is the finale for the season. I said that right. I said. I that. think you said that like eight times in like this weird jumbled sentence of words. Well, I'm frustrated. I mean, we figured out what happened to Captain Coolsville, yeah. but we don't know where Captain Coolsville is. Not, yeah, like it's frustrating. It's like where where's is, where's my friend? I I know. I I'm sorry. I, I know, and, well, and you, you didn't... And the stupid... Well, you didn't have to puppet. yell at me out there. Just, just gets away with well, it. Well, I know, well, I told you, you should have paid the guy. I don't... Whatever. And he wouldn't accept credit, and I'm in debt. So do we so. have to get a game from this guy? Because I just don't even trust this guy We now. We do. We have to get one. I'm not excited about it. You're not excited about it. The puppet's thrilled, I'm sure. All right. But th this is the season finale. We got to give them a nice, uh, awesome right. finale. So finale. Um, Here we go then. Un unfortunately, we we don't know what happened to Captain Coolsville. So sorry, gang. Uh. We'll keep you updated. I guess we'll keep passing those lost flyers out there, and maybe somebody will call. Some he. We're gonna find him. It's gonna be okay. Oh, so we're gonna find him. It's I gonna, miss it's, Captain it's, I know. Coolsville. We're gonna find him. I promise. <sighs> Let's, Let's get a game, and we'll we'll worry about Captain Coolsville after the game. I know. I know. It's all right. It's all right. Get it. I don't even want to talk to you. What? I don't want to talk to you. Uh, yeah, I'm really not in the mood. Do we have to do this today? What's the matter, guys? Still don't know what happened to the Captain Tools. You keep his name out of your mouth. You keep his name out of your mouth. Wow. I'll do it. Ah! Oh, get him, get him, choke him. 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 to save Han. What? No. Han? What? Nothing. Well, <sighs> sorry to you. Do you guys want a game? Fine, give us a game. Oh, how appropriate. Oh, Ghost. <laughs> that is not funny. That is not funny. That is not funny. <sighs> All right. What? What the hell? Out. What are you talking about? 
Ghost. Ghost. You know, I'm still, I'm still upset that. Ghost. You're way, way too happy with the fact that we still don't know what happened to Captain Coolsbone. How about the ball was like, oh, ghost, how appropriate. Oh yeah. I'm still Captain angry. Captain Coolsville okay? Yes. Good. Whew. I was worried. I've been worried. Ghosts! Ghosts! From Milton Bradley. Made a lot of Milton Bradley games this season. Ghosts. Great. Great. Uh, this is a very, very interesting game from... Uh, from Milton Bradley. Let's see. 1985 was the sucker. Uh, don't be fooled by the ghouls is what it says on the don't back. Don't be fooled by the ghouls. But the game's called Ghosts. Why would they use ghouls when it's called Ghosts? Ghouls, you know, they play on words. They're all white, all the same height, and all with pleats in their sheets. Can you tell them apart? 16 sneaky ghosts are ready to play a game of Escape and Capture with you. I've never played Escape and Capture. It's like hide and seek. Oh, ha, ha. Except there's a capture. Oh, weird. If half are nasty and half are nice, and all of them look exactly alike, can you capture the good spirited among them? Hidden colored dots identify the ghosts as good or bad, but neither you nor your opponent sees each other's dots. So it's guess who on every move. But often and guess well to win ghosts, the sneakiest, creepiest fake out game ever. And they glow, too! It says that real big at the bottom. Dot, dot, dot. And they glow, too! <laughs> the pawns shine in the dark for an extra special ghostly glow! Well, shouldn't we be playing this in the dark, then? Turn the lights off. That wouldn't be... Uh, you wouldn't be able to see anything. Well, we'd be able to see them, because they're glowing. I love the box art on the front of the box, by the way. <laughs> the, that you just throw on the ground. The, the creepy, uh... It looks like Ghostbusters. It does. Woo! It's really cool. Looks like the uh, looks like the uh, the subway ghost. Kind of. The yellow one. Yeah. Right? Chasing blue Slimer. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> which uh, which is about right because this would have came out uh, right after Ghostbusters. It's awesome. I like it. These the instructions. Uh, and then the ghosts in the game look nothing like the ghosts on the box. No, like they're they those don't. really cool, colorful, mm -hmm. bright, crazy. So you've ghosts got you've got a dungeon board. This is a cool board. I like it. We've seen a lot of dungeon boards on this game Ooh. on this show. That's the name of the show now. Dungeon board. There are a lot of dungeon games. <laughs> Although, if we have to play Dungeons and Dragons, I'm out. I don't, I don't, I don't understand it. There's no board. I don't understand it. So you got this this cool little dungeon board here. Then you've got the you've got the insert on the inside that says Ghost. Ghosts. Dungeon board. Why, why am I covered? I'm just showing off the board. Oh, okay. And then underneath... And there's the ghosts that look nothing like the ghosts on the cover of the box, but instead just look like little, those little, 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 little spooky ghosts. They're like the white sheets with the eyes cut out. <laughs> so we got all these ghosts. We got eight blue ones. And the idea here is that there are evil ghosts and good ghosts? Yes. Hmm. And then eight with the little yellow dots. So gotcha. yeah, the, the idea here... Um, you're given, basically, each player gets four pawns. They're given, uh, or eight pawns. You're given four with the blue. Okay. And four with the yellow. All right. So, uh, the oh blue pawns, the blue dot pawns are the good guys. Good and the ghost. yellow dots are the bad spirited pawns. Yeah. Um, and the placement here is, uh, is, is pretty, it's important that, that neither one of us ever know, uh, what type of spirit is good or what type is bad. So it's uh, it, the, the the setup is, is pretty simple here. It's really easy. They, you can set up your uh, your characters. Uh, you know these these little side sections here are doors. Mm -hmm. So you've got these uh, these little spaces here on the sides with arrows that are doors. Gotcha. Um, okay. You can't put Kinda any like Pac-Man. Right. Uh, you can't put any of the, the they can't start on the doors, but they can start on the eight spaces alongside the door, and then you just you would set them up. You know, mix them up a little bit. So, so are we turning know. the board so that your we we will? Yeah, go because this, we're, way. this won't be. Yeah, this won't be the final set. Right, 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 right. But this is how we would set it up. So yes. Like that way, you can't see which ones I'm putting out. Correct. Gotcha. Yeah. 
And that's pretty much the board setup. It's it's really easy to set this game up. It's really simple, uh, and it's uh, it's pretty simple to play too. So let's let's take a look at what the gameplay entails in this one, uh, awesome. and we'll uh, we'll we'll haunt your dreams with ghosts. Let's see, that's way scarier. It's way scarier than. Boom. Let's let's check the game. Okay. Oh, scary. I'm not sure it's that scary. Okay, so there is very little setup involved. Basically, each player gets eight ghosts. Four with blue dots and four with yellow dots. These dots identify the ghosts as good spirits and bad spirits. Blue being good and yellow being bad. Yellow seemed like such a nice color. He got tossed in with some bad colors. The game board here is made up of 36 rooms. Each room is actually a game space, and our eight ghosts get positioned in the two front rows here. Setting up your ghosts requires a bit of thought here on each player's part. You want to try to fake out your opponent during the game. For example, putting one bad spirit and three good spirits in the back row and the remaining in the front row. However you want to arrange them in those two rows is completely up to you as the player. Remember, never show the other player which ghosts have which dots. Secrecy and strategery, people. That's not a real word. Secrecy? <laughs> sure it is. Never mind. The youngest player here moves first. Hey, that's me! Ha <laughs> ha, you're old! Hey, watch it, or these pieces won't be the only ghosts around here. Ahem, <clears throat> sorry. Now, the rules of movement here are as follows. You can move one ghost forward, backwards, or sideways one space per turn. You can never move a ghost diagonally. The ghost can only be moved to an adjacent, unoccupied space. Two or more pieces can never be on the same space at the same time. When two opposing pieces occupy adjacent spaces, like this, then a capturing situation exists. Now, capturing another player's ghost is optional, but if you manage to capture all of your opponent's good spirits, you could win the game. Capturing is considered a move, so by doing it, your turn is over. When you capture an opponent's ghost, look at the dot to see which you've captured. Capture all four good ghosts, and you're the winner of the game. But manage to capture all four of your opponent's bad ghosts, you lose, and your opponent wins. So two ways to win are by capturing ghosts. There's also a third and final way to win. All you have to do is move one of your good ghosts out of your opponent's door. That's right, as you move ghosts across the board, capturing and getting captured, your true goal is to get one of your good ghosts to one of the two corner doors on your opponent's side of the board. Do any of those three things, and you are the winner. So you've already got, like, three of my bad ghosts. Shut up. I want one of your good ones. Maybe you should try to capture another one of my ghosts, son. Maybe you should try to capture a ghost. No, maybe I should try to get out the door, which is what I'm going to do. You're not my gonna, next move. What? You're not getting out this door right here. Crap. So you, you captured my ghost. That's spectacular. I'm so happy. I got it? Yeah. So now what's happening? You win. Oh, yeah! Woo! Look, you know why I won? Phantom Day. Why? What is in your face? Ghosts. Goose! You gotta say it with more inflection so people like understand Ghosts! the name of it. There you go. Oh yes, ghosts! Oh my ghosty takers! What? No, no. Because no. the name of the game is Ghosts with an exclamation point. Grim and Grinning Ghosts come out through social lives. There you go. I like that. FYI, I win. I just wanted to make sure you didn't forget. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't didn't forget at all. I did, did not forget. Ghosts is a very um, interesting strategy game, uh, and the fact that you know that all the pieces glow in the dark. Um, the, 
Grim Granny Ghost, come out to socialize. I, I like the fact that <laughs> it, it is a strategy game in, in you know at its core because without that little bit of strategy, it's a pretty simplistic game. You're just it, it's almost like a ghost version of checkers. To a degree. Kind of. Yeah. yeah, in a sense. It's yeah. got the same kind of thing. But you got that strategy of of knowing that your pieces are different and the other guy doesn't. So you're kind of trying to push your bad ghosts at them. Yes. While also trying to make your way to the door. So it does start to get a little obvious towards the end of which pieces are which. Yeah, and it, it does. Keeping track of the good ones from the bad ones. And once you get to that point, your strategy has to completely change. Because it's not as easy to push the last bad one off on them. No. When they know that they've got three of your bad ones already. And they don't want the bad ones. They're just trying to get out the door now. So now you just kind of have to stop them from escaping. So it's... It kind of, you have to alter your strategy as you play. And I like that there's three different ways to win this game for each player. You either capture the other player's blue ghosts, you either uh, get out the door, or the other player captures all of your bad ghosts. Yeah. That's kind of neat. That, yeah. that really adds an interesting aspect which, to the whole. Which plays into that whole changing your strategy as you go. Like, there's no... You can't really just make up, all right, I'm for sure getting out the door this game. No. Because it doesn't work. Like, by the end of the game, that may not be the best option for right. you. Instead, you might want to just capture his last blue ghost, and then you win. Or if you can trick him into getting all your bad ghosts, that's... I think that would be the hardest way to win yes but probably like the most accomplished way of winning you know what i mean yeah, yeah if you could trick the other player into getting all four of your bad ghosts that's like the ultimate victory i feel like yeah so you you move your bad ghosts like you know move your good ghosts like they're bad ghosts hoping that they'll go you know they, they won't go right, after those and right. they'll go past yeah. those yeah yeah uh, and i think one of the hardest aspects to win this is getting to the opposite the opponent's doorways to get out because much like checkers or much like connect four how often do you really get things set up in a, in a game that two players are paying close attention to that you can actually get to those spaces? It's tough. Yeah, it's, it's tough. really tough. Yeah. Uh, but overall, it's, it's a fun little game for me. The game I mean, the pieces are great. Ghost. Ghost! The glow-in-the-dark nature just makes me even better because everything that glows in the dark is automatically awesome. Just, just saying. Anything with you that glows in the dark or is translucent. Or shiny. Or shiny. shiny. Danny likes shiny things. I'm attracted to pretty things. He is. <laughs> My pretties. Never felt pretty. You wanted to be a geologist at one point. I did. Yeah. I like shiny things. Dan likes rocks. I like rocks. Rocks think, are cool. There's a rock on the floor somewhere from a previous episode still. <laughs> yeah, you can have that. I don't know. Are you sure? Yeah, it's I'm nice, sure. It's a nice rock. <laughs> Ghost is a very cool game, though. Uh, I'm kind of glad we got to play this game, but uh, this, this reminds me... Uh, it comes with awesome little action figures. You know what these remind me of? My favorite Lego minifigure. The ghost. Oh. I was going to say they remind me of... Uh, also, they're of, great finger puppets. Yeah. If we could eat them, they'd be... Uh, I don't remember the name of the food. Good story? Yeah, great story from Duvall. Say goodbye, Duvall. <laughs> See you guys next week. Ghost! Great job, great job this season. I'm fixed today and I win every game, every season. That's what I do. What? What is, what is happening? What is your problem? What are you doing? What is your problem? Who's got a knife? Who's got a knife? What are you talking? What? Oh! Whoa, 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 Oh yeah? Ah! Ah! Captain Coolsville? Ah! 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 Oh, oh. Ah! He tried to bite me, he tried to bite me, he tried to bite me. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Ah! No, 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 no. Ah! What? Dude, he doesn't have any teeth. And he has a squeaker in it. squeaker in his head. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Captain, Captain Coolsville! Coolsville.